What up guys, we're back again today with another one. Um, excited about this one. I'd started this one the other day and then Michaela called me and it just right in the middle of me recording so it screwed everything up so I just didn't go back to it so I figured why not just start fresh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, why not just start fresh and just hit it again, man. So I've seen half this video. I haven't seen the second half of it so I'm excited to watch the second half because the first half is super exciting and super rank man so happy to get back to this um i had someone send me a message on instagram and told me or asked me what the gnarliest wreck is that i've had fighting bulls riding bulls anything like that um man there's a few just to man i've had 15 16 concussions from my time playing football to riding bulls fighting bulls stuff like that um I've had the right side of my face broke. I've had these front four teeth are fake. So yeah, they they come in and out. Um, I've got a flipper uh, for those. Um, but I think the most traumatizing one that I've ever had happen to me was I had a bull of Brett Hall's a couple years ago. Stick a horn where the sun don't shine and put me in the hospital for a couple days with that. And man, it was... Like I said, that's probably the most traumatic hooking I've ever had. I'd rather get teeth knocked out or break a side of my face again than go through that because it was absolutely awful. 100% awful. Don't ever want anybody to have to go through that. Don't ever want to go through it again. But shit happens sometimes, man. And, you know, doing what we do, you get horns everywhere. So it's not pleasurable. It's not fun by any means. Trust me. Um. So yeah, that's that's probably the most traumatic. Those are probably you know some of the worst. Uh, you know, broke ribs, ankles, uh, fingers, you know, wrists, elbows, stuff like that, shoulders, stuff like that. That's just kind of a a common thing, I guess, in the rodeo world. You know, you're always beat up somewhere on your body. It's just part of it. It's what happens. So, um, but yeah, so we're gonna restart this video today. This is Dalton Pool outlaw bullfighters promo and i guess this is a video he made for a company or a group uh trying to get sponsorship from him so it's a pretty ranked video from what i have seen of it so far but so uh, i hope you guys enjoy man and let's get it good little gap started off with Good little step over. Clean back up with that muley with party time. Go ahead. Pull one out of a spin. Party time with muley again. Good little offside pick with that little pup. Just step on through with him. Go ahead. Go ahead. I love jump gaps like that, man. I love them. Good little step over in your gap right there. Tight little gap with Big Charlet. Hang up. Got popped out. Good pick up though. I mean, this video is older. I think it's from 2017, so. It is three years old. Good pick up. Good gap. Partner not doing much to help right there. He just kind of stood there. But good pick up. Would float around with him. Ooh. That kid could have got his face knocked off as hard as he got whipped down right there. Good gap. Hopping over the top right into that muley. Heck yeah. Go ahead. Put a little step over right there. Smooth gap. Dang good gap. Tied up against a bug and shoes like that, man. You just gotta create your own gap. Do what you gotta do. Good work. Hang up. Good work. Put a little step over gap. Good gap with that pup. Way to pick him up out of spin. Good 
Good gap right there. Partner kind of lets you down again. Good gap. Good offside pickup. Way to work through it. Good gap. Partner almost got y'all both rolled up right there. Heck of a move though, dude. Good gap. And some of these, I don't know what your partners are doing. Get out of the way, Judge. Good step through right there. Nice jump. And sometimes jerks, jumps, gaps work out really good. Sometimes they don't. That was one you, I mean, you, you cleared them by like that much and it was just enough for him not to really pick up on you. So jump gaps are really cool. They're fun to do, man, but you do, you gotta be really technical about how you hit them. And when you jump, you gotta know you're, you're fixing to get launched or just straight hammered. Oh, good cleanup gap right there. But you gotta know you're gonna get smoked down hard or you're fixing to get launched and you just gotta take it. Right, come and get that offside pick. Gotta keep floating with him, hang up. So man, that's the problem about having five, six bullfighters. And I don't know if that's protection match or just guys hired, but if that's guys hired, that's way too many guys for one bull riding. Oof, he hung a spur in a flank. Nice freaking gap, dude. Nice gap. Put the jets on and get there, nice work. Nice gap. Good gap. And the biggest thing I'd pick out of this video is just slowing down just a tad. Slowing down like that, that's where you want to be. Make sure them bulls commit to you, man. Trying to pick them up. Can't get them picked up. Just tell your guy, go ahead and get off. Good gap. Good pick up. Where'd your partner? Bruh, I'm not trying to be rude, but some of the partners in this video, good gap. I don't know what they're doing. I really don't. Hang up. Don't work. Good gap, man. You landed jumping off your bull rider right there. Good gap. But that is it, y'all. There's Dalton Pools. Outlaw Bullfighters promo from 2017, man. Like I, like I said, man, I, I really liked that video. I enjoyed it a lot. There's a lot of great stuff in there. A lot of stuff from partners that I... It's not the greatest. It's not absolute trash, you know, but it's... There's some things partners can work on in there, too. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Hope y'all guys enjoyed it. We'll be back for another one probably this after, later tonight or tomorrow maybe uh we'll see what happens so hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time have a blessed day